Okay, so today what I thought I'd do is I would have a look at some no-trump contracts because a lot of people struggle with no-trump contracts. So that's what I'd have a look at today. So I've had a look through the last 50 hands I've played in and I've just pulled out all the no-trump contracts and I'm just going to have a look through them all. So uh, here we go. Uh, they're all a bit randomized, so the boards will be different numbers and stuff so one club first of all um pass a bit of spade this hand bids two no trumps saying about an 18 count and then the south hand decided to pass so this is on lead now me personally if i was leading from this holding i would probably lead the ace of diamonds okay um i mean you've got a choice between either a heart or a diamond okay so you could lead your fourth highest heart, or you could lead a diamond. Now, from this suit, um, I think I like leading the ace of diamonds um, because you get to look at dummy. If you lead a heart, you could get off to the wrong lead. I mean, I admit, leading the ace of diamonds could be a bad lead, okay? So when you've got this kind of suit, I like to lead the ace, and it asks for attitude. So I lead ace for attitude, and basically when, I, when I'm talking about attitude, I'm asking partner, do you like this suit? So if they like the suit, they'll play as high a card they can do uh, that they can afford to let go of, okay, if they like it. And if I lead the king, I'm asking for counting that suit, okay? And so they'll give me how many cards they've got in it by playing a high-low signal or a uh, a low a, a low card to show um, a, an odd number of cards in that so so here I'm going to play the ace of diamonds okay play low now here I can let go of the ten of diamonds I know my partner's got the ace king of diamonds from that lead they shouldn't really lead the ace without the ace king so here I'm going to let go of the ten of diamonds okay I can see there's three diamonds in dummy so. They're most likely leading from a four card suit. So I'm, I suspect my car, partner's got something like ace king to five or ace king to four. And I'm basically telling my partner, I have the queen. So you play the 10 of diamonds. Now, don't play the king now because partner could have the queen of diamonds. Partner's saying I've got a good card in diamonds. I like diamonds. Okay. If they had something like jack 10 to four, then in my opinion, they should let go of the jack. Okay, so if they have that holding, say jack 10 to four, that's a possible holding, let's say, then they should play the jack, okay, saying they like that holding, but then that would deny the queen of diamonds because if you had queen jack to four, you, you should really let go of the queen, okay? You can afford to let go of the queen with this dummy. So if you had something like jack 10 to four diamonds, you could play the jack which would deny the queen and say you like that suit. And now this hand could then play the king and drop a queen X double turn in the north hand, okay? But on this particular holding, ace of diamonds, uh, you can now just play a um, low diamond, okay? If it ha this hand's got something like 10, nine to four, it shouldn't really be playing the 10, okay? But I know this hand would have, um, like uh, if it did have 10, 9 to 4, then I know the sound of Queen Jack stiff, let's say. Because it's played the 4, I know that isn't true. So here I can play the diamond. This is where signaling, uh, playing the cards in a certain order really helps in bridge. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I'm over here. and My hand is really poor. Okay. And we've got to get two no trumps off. So I'm thinking, how do we get this off? It's going to club a spade. So the other holding is hearts, okay? So I'm not going to get in this hand very often, in my opinion. So I don't really want to play a club because that's setting up North's holding, potentially, okay? Because they've opened a club. And they are playing natural, so that should be a four-card club suit. Now, I could just routinely play a diamond. But the whole point is that partner needs to get in again. So rather than play a diamond, okay, because they can play the diamond themselves at any point, okay, 
So if they have got four or five diamonds, they're going to win those diamond tricks. So what I want to do is play something else. So here I'm going to play the six of hearts back. Now what that says is, I don't like hearts. I'm playing the high heart back. I can't beat this jack. If I, if I had a, a good heart, like, like the ace of hearts, let's say, I would play a low heart back. I'm hoping to get my partner in with, say, the queen of hearts or something like that. So here I'm going to play a high heart back. Okay, and say, I've got no interest in hearts, partner. I'm just playing through strength. Okay. I mean, I could do the same thing in clubs, but I don't want to set them up. I know they've got at least four clubs. In fact, as you can see, they've got five. So I'm going to play a high heart back. Here, they're just going to take the finesse. Okay. And it loses. Okay. And then they now should just cash the diamonds. Okay. Right, so we look at the spades, ace, king, queen. So that's highly unlikely that's going to win. Mind you, this isn't going to do anything. Okay, I uh, can't get in there, so I can chuck that away now. Um, let me think now, what do I want to throw here? I don't want to, I definitely don't want a club back, so I'm going to chuck that away. So low says, I don't want this suit back. If I play the high one, you'd say, I like this suit, please play it. Although you can play it different ways, but uh, I'm not going to go into detail on that. So here, there's no point in chucking any of these cards away. You can just chuck away a club now. Um, so we could play the ten of spades here. That looks like a, a likely card to play through. Okay, so we're going to play the ten of spades. And I'm going to play low on that one. I'm going to play the second highest spade. I'm going to play the king. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the ace of clubs just in case there's a singleton um, club. Okay, now there isn't, but the ten of clubs has popped up. So that's a bit tricky. So, hmm. I'm going to play that because I can afford to play it just to find out any more information. Not really useful. I'll play a spade now. Hmm. That hand threw a club away before. Okay. A tens come up. Right, okay, I'm gonna play that one. Now, obviously, I'm gonna play a club. And then the nine's popped up. Now you're on a guess on how to play it. It, it is purely a guess of whether this is queen X or not. Okay, so not a lot you can do about it. It's just a complete guess. Um, I think it's a complete guess anyway, so there's no point in having a look at it. Obviously, I can see the cards. I've put up that one. Uh, what I would say is that people tend to play. Actually, you know what? This isn't a complete guess. Um, because if this hand had five hearts, okay, then they would have probably led a heart. Five card heart suit as opposed to a four card diamond suit would probably lead a heart. So it looks like they've got two hearts left and one club. People tend to play their cards upwards. So the 10 of clubs is probably their second highest club. Um, yeah, so there's quite an indication here of playing the king to drop it. All right, so that's that hand dealt with. Um, let's have a look at this next hand then. East, one no trump. Okay, 12 to 14 points. Now this holding, I would tend to lead the jack, but Okay, so top of an internal sequence. But as it turns out, if you do lead that, it's a bad card. But, you know, we're going to lead it anyway. Okay, sometimes it'll work out right. But on this occasion, it doesn't work out very good. Okay, so let's play it anyway. So here, we're just going to go with the queen. It's the right thing to do. There's no point in ducking it. Give count. So you play high-low sequence. You play the seven. I'm just going to play low. So, now on that lead now, as declarer, we're thinking, if this hand had the king of spades, it would cover 
the queen with the king, okay? So it hasn't got it, it shouldn't have it. So, and it's led Jack, it's probably led it from Jack 10, you lead top of the sequence. So now we can kind of work out that Sal has King Jack 10 and probably have another uh, another card in, in this suit. May or I'll have this kind of fold in a five card spade suit. So that's the first thing. Now let's have a look. What's our strongest suits between these two? We've got eight cards in hearts. Cubs is our weakest suits. Spades is pretty weak now. Okay. Diamonds is not bad, but hearts is clearly our strongest suit. So if the king of hearts is over here and it's to three hearts, we can make four tricks. Okay. We've already got one in the bag. We've got a spade, two, a club, three. We might get four of them. That's seven. And we're going to win a diamond trick because once we've knocked out the ace of diamonds, either the king or queen's going to win. So it looks like we're going to get eight tricks here, potentially, if the king of hearts is in the right spot. So I'm going to play that. And I'm just going to play low for now. Play low, low. Okay. Um, and then that works. So I'm going to try that again. Assume that north has... Uh, king to three. Now, what actually happened at the table? This hand actually played low. So let's just have a look at Gib here. So it's saying any card you play is okay. But that's only if you can see the backs of the cards. Now, if you play low, which is what they did, and then this hand plays low, right? And then you go in with a 10. Right? Let's just put Gib on here. You see that? So it's saying you have to put in the seven. Okay, but they put in the 10. Okay, which makes sense to do that. All right, you're never going to play this hand for four hearts most of the time. So that's why it's a poor play. Don't go in with the, don't play the four. Okay, so you need to play the jack. Okay, and then this hand covered it. Which is the right thing to do because you can see that the entries are getting really reduced here. There isn't necessarily a guaranteed entry now to take this heart finesse. And this hand played a club. Okay, so now you've got to get over here. And what they did was play a diamond. So the next suit, the next strongest suit is diamond. So they played a diamond. This hand played low and they went in with a king. Okay, they kind of put in their all their eggs in one basket and hoping that they. The ace is here, really. So, um, put in the nine. And then they took the heart finesse again now. So, it doesn't matter which one you play. Okay. So, they chucked another club. Keep playing the hearts. Chuck a spade. So, I like trying to keep one in a suit. Okay. If I can. So now it's pretty tricky now. What have we got here? Um, I know the Ace of Diamonds is over here, most likely. And let's have a look at Gib. Okay. It's saying if I play the Seven of Clubs, that's not going to be good. Now, obviously, playing the Clubs, that's our weakest suit. It's not going to be a good idea playing that. So I'm, I'm taking this hand for something like King 10X. So I'm just going to play this one for now. I'm trying to get an end play here, trying to get this hand to play a diamond. Whoops, the dogs are barking. Right, calm down, guys, calm down. <laughs> and this hand's going to go in with that. Okay, so now I'm in uh, this hand, so I'm just going to exit with a club. It's clear, the Claire hasn't played them, so probably for a reason. Um, have a look at Gib here. There you go, it's saying going up with the ace. So, what you say here, this hand's thrown away quite a few clubs. I know it's got the ace of diamonds, so I don't want to play a club, obviously. So, what you can do here is basically uh, a bit of an end play. So, you can play. Um, Queen of Diamonds in this situation. What that does, it pins this Nine of Diamonds. And then they play on Diamonds. Okay. 
go to the club, it's useless. And now what you can see, you've got an end play. Okay, so if they play the king, you win with the ace, and then your nine's good. Play the three, you win with the nine, and then your ace is good. Okay, so a couple of lucky tricks there at the end. But it's worthwhile playing for these kind of things. Okay, so that's a couple of boards there. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So West, Diamond. Okay, yeah, because I'm 5-4, I'm opening a diamond. I'm going to bid a two clubs if I can. So a diamond, double, seven, nine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Diamond, double, four, three in the majors. One spade, yep, two clubs. And what is this hand bid? Send bid two, two no trumps, which is a terrible bid. Okay, you should never bid that. Um, don't know what they were doing now with that bid. If they want to bid anything, they should just bid two hearts. Four suit forcing, and then I'll bid two no trumps, okay? So it should actually be played two no trumps from my side, if anything. Okay, um, but they're in two no trumps. So what did they play? Diamonds have been bid here, so I think they're going to start off with a low heart, fourth highest heart. And I'm going to duck that, play that, so, and then I can see that there, I'm just going to play another low heart back. Okay, Whew. this is a horrible hand. Um, I think it looks like, don't really want to play jack of spades, small spade, ace, king. Let's have a look what Gibbs says, okay. I don't want to play a diamond from this holding, okay? So you want to play the diamonds towards <clears throat> this and take a finesse. So you don't want to touch diamonds. So you've got to play a spade or a club, okay? Let's have a look what Gibbs says. It actually says if you play anything, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, which is interesting. What would I play here? I think I might take the double club finesse. So I'm going to play a club towards the 9 10. Okay, play a club. What are they going to do? What does Gibbs say you should do in defense? It doesn't really matter. So, what I'm going to do is play a low one, and, and what I'm hoping for is this hand goes up with the ace. So, but let's see what Gibbs says. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter. So, I'm going with the nine anyway. Small. Now I'm over here in, in, um, in this hand. I'm going to play a diamond towards this holding, okay? Again, it's saying it doesn't really matter. Play low, low, going with ace. Ah, that's why it, <laughs> that's why it didn't matter, because yeah, it was a singleton ace. Yeah, but um, that's what you'd normally play. You'd normally play towards this holding, okay? Towards the king jack 10. Now what are you gonna do? So, partners led four highest heart, so it seems sensible to play um, hearts. Let's see if Gib agrees with that. Yeah. Okay, so clearly you shouldn't play a spade. That just gives everything away. Okay, that gives concedes lots of tricks. Okay, that would give five tricks away, basically. So, um, we're going to play the king of hearts. Okay, and now got to throw something away. Well, at 10 of clubs won. I'm not going to win any more clubs, so probably right to play a club. Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. Another heart. What does it say here? Yeah, obviously you don't play ace, king of clubs. Got a diamond towards that. Yeah, ace, 10. Yeah, so it makes sense to play a spade. Okay, again, it makes sense to play a low diamond. Now what? Okay, now what? Um, they can play the diamond finesse themselves. If they get over there, so it looks sensible to play a diamond, in my opinion. You're not really giving anything away. Yeah, you see what I'm saying there? Equals, it's just playing it easy, it's plus one. So if you, in defense, you want to not give things away, okay? Not give anything away. Let the declarer. You know work for the money as it were 
Oh, yeah, obviously, I'm going to take a diamond finesse because when I took it before, the ace won, so it should win again. And I'm going to chuck a club. I can't throw a spade away, it feels. I'm going to play a diamond. So, about, you know, three tricks. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we're going to make our contract. What do I want to do now? I want to try to set up the spades now. Uh, if the Queen of Diamonds is dropping, so if I, well, actually, I know it isn't dropping. We're talking about diamonds are out. So I know the Queen of Diamonds is I want this hand to play diamonds. Okay, I'm not going to play the King of Diamonds and set up the diamonds. So uh, what's the right play here? I don't think it really matters which one I play. Uh, I'm just going to play that just in case North does something silly like Duck. They should really cover. Okay. And let me think. I'm going to duck this, I think. Well, let's see what Gibbs says. See, it doesn't actually matter. But I'm going to duck this just to keep the communications there. So I like doing that. Ducking a card. Got a spade here that I can come over here with. It's okay. I know the spades are 3 3 or 4 2 or something. So I can't possibly win all these spade tricks. I'm always going to lose a spade trick. So I'm choosing to lose this one here. Okay. And what does this hand do now? Well, got uh, I might as well play a club. Okay, top club. Count with the clubs. I know they've only got two each at tops. So I'm going to win this. Play low there. And then I'm just going to play out. And as you can see, you've got all the rest of the tricks now. Okay, so claim the rest. So I'll do some more no trumps later from declarer's point of view and defense's point of view. So that's the first one I'm going to do today.